anyways, speaking of uh, expectations, uh, probably my well, a filmmaker that has made some of my favorite films of all time, my favorite trilogy of all time, Richard Linklater had a new film uh, starring Glenn Powell. Uh, in the lead role called Hitman, which I went into looking at is some of his, his latest films, uh, like a Apollo Ten and a Half or Where Did Where Did You Go, Bernadette? Maybe with like still liking it, you know, ultimately, but going in with lower expectations. And this one really blew me away in what it was able to do. It was probably the funniest movie of the festival. Saying that having poor things in the lineup is kind of crazy because that movie was uh, incredibly entertaining, but I I loved it from beginning to end. Um, I don't know how it will hit with people who uh, kind of know how good it is going into it, um, but I was so surprised. I had an audience that was feeling it. They the guy next to me was laughing at more jokes that were than, than were ended in the movie. I you know he loved it stuff that weren't even jokes. He was really having a good time, which made me have a good time as well. Uh and yeah, well yeah. the thing is we I got watched nothing it bad in different screenings. It. Yeah. We watched it in different screenings. Like I saw it first uh and then you saw it after yeah because i watched hokits and shadow of fire first the really heavy film and then i went into a comedy which was the perfect evening for me yeah that was a perfect evening for you and it was honestly kind of the the perfect movie for me too hitman you know you, you know it had, must be said glenn powell because he actually wrote this movie alongside link later i believe too yeah um he's really really good you know like easiest he, best role this this is this yeah i'm gonna say it. this might be my favorite male performance of the year and there's been some great ones i just like i was so vibing with him um it's then why the, didn't you give him the prize <laughs> i i get it. i i because because i can already see the hypocrisy in it because it's like you know the mats mickelson gives him more media performance this is more yeah, comedic yeah, okay. we tend to reward these less but he's he's great in it uh and the movie does have Amazing. its downsides uh a bit maybe in the romance side of it but i was in it because it's essentially I feel like it, it relies on two hot people getting together because they're hot. And if if anything has proven that before with me, that's like, I'm I'm down for that. I don't have anything against that. I mean, you were in love with Adia Ari Ariona. So. <laughs> My God. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, shut me up, shut me up. I'll, I won't say good things. I won't say good things that should be on the internet. But my God. My yeah, the, the fucking only thing God. That, the only thing that for me was, uh, you know, they were hamming up the romance quite a bit. Yeah. I was like, oh no. Is well, this give what me the give me be? A, I'm vegan, but give me that, give me a slice of that ham, man. Uh, oh, okay, man. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, but they were hamming it quite a bit up in the romance section, but then... They quietly diverted from that. There's a lot of twists, a lot of genres getting mixed. Uh, I really, really, really loved it, as did Ewan. He liked, it was his favorite. Uh, Porting was my favorite. Yeah. So you know what the two funniest movies of the festival were. Then we...